this is Jonna, the Preppy Crafty Girl, and today I'm going to be working in my fall notebook, but I want to show you how I made a waterfall pocket from a number two unbleached coffee filter. And uh, these were by Merlita, and I just found them at the grocery store. And again, it's number two, but you could do the number four. I have these index cards with grid from a store called Daiso. I got them in Australia, but I know there are several around the country in the US and around the world. It's a Japanese store. And I have a little vintage book atlas and so cute, so miniature. And those are some stickers from some friends, Happy Mail, and I have some notepad pages and some books out of a field guide. So first what you're going to do is fold one side over and you're going to have to probably adjust this a little bit according to your uh, card that's going inside, but I'm fitting mine for the index cards I got from Daiso. So I'm just kind of adjusting them so that it's straight and then you're going to trim off any excess on the side. And I noticed it's a little crooked on the one side, so I readjust and fold it in, and then I just trim off the excess to, so it's not hanging over. And then there's a natural seal at the bottom, and what I do is I just kind of fold that over crease it and that is my hinge for my pocket and then when you add them to your page you layer them on and that's your hinge and then the next one will be adhered down and that will be that, that hinge and that's how you will get your waterfall pocket here I'm only doing two but you can do as many as you want to fill up your page so I'm taking this rows that I have from a book and I'm just trimming it to fit the page or should I say the coffee filter then what you want to do is take a one inch well, unless you have a notch punch, but I don't. So I use my one inch and I'm just going to insert it halfway, punch, and that's how I get the notch at the top. Again, you want to crease that paper at the fold and then just adhere it to the coffee filter. So here I'm using YooHoo glue stick. Um, it's pretty strong glue stick, but it's also forgiving in case you have to move something uh, within a you know a few seconds of adhering it down. But then once it's stuck, it's stuck down. It's really nice for collage. So I'm just smoothing that down, and again just. Uh, gluing down the back where I folded that over and I creased again that fold. So here I'm showing how I had to trim down for the size of my pocket some of those index cards. These are mini index cards. I believe they're probably about two by three. If that, they may even be one and yeah, I think two by three. But they fit perfectly. Once I trim them down, they fit right inside that pocket. Then on the back, I'm just going to adhere some note paper. This I actually pulled from a notepad. And oh, yeah, I readjust this one because I saw if I did it, I was trying to save myself some time on cutting. But if I did that, then the lines were going to be slanted. So, like I said, that glue is pretty forgiving. And I went back in and adjusted 
the paper so the lines would be straight. And then I'm just going to turn it over and trim around. Now when I glued that down I noticed you can kind of see the coffee filter there through that paper because it's so thin. It's not that you can see the coffee filter but you can see like the bumps but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to do some hidden journaling so no one's going to see that part but if that bothers you then you can put a piece of cardstock down first and then adhere your notebook paper. And then I'm just going to repunch. I haven't tried punching through all of those layers. Uh, I was kind of concerned that it might get stuck in my punch. That's why I'm doing one at a time. And I'm now going to use the Lyra charcoal stick. And I'm just going to outline my pocket uh, just to kind of edge it. And then I'm going to go in and use a water brush to just kind of disperse a little bit of color. These are water soluble and they stay water soluble even after they are dry. So I just want to give the heads up if you're doing any kind of mixed media art that you can go back in and use water on it and move the color around. And I decided after I went one round around that I was going to go around again and add a little more color and define the pocket. I like the sketchiness of what I get from the charcoal stick or graphite stick uh, over inking it. Um, plus it's really convenient. It's just quickly going around and, and drawing a line or sketching a line around. But I like how it gives it a nice kind of sketchy edge and defines the tag. So I'm going to speed up this process right here. I'm just going to do the same thing as I did before but using different pages. taking the pockets I just made and I'm looking for a page in my Fall Traveler's Notebook trying to decide where I want to adhere them and I'm just kind of auditioning pages. And so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And I just kind of opt for this page. I liked the purple that was on the page. It went with the purple that was on that one pocket. And so now I'm just adding some glue to the flap of the bottom of the pocket to the page. Then I am also doing the second one and I'm going to move it up just a little bit, maybe a half an inch away from the other pocket so you can see it from behind. I'm going to adhere that down. Now you can leave that space in there between, but I'm going to take some of this field guide. It's a German field guide. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that text and just add it in between the two pockets just to fill the space. Again, just use my glue stick. And I'm going to put it 
in between and fill that space. And there you have it, you have your waterfall pocket. Uh, you could add more, I could add another one probably to this page, uh, but I'm just gonna keep with the two because I wanna put a picture up at the very top because I wanna talk about going to botanical gardens. And now I'm gonna just decorate the little cards that are in the pockets really quickly. So I like this little nest that was on that German field guide book page. And I'm just kind of tearing around it, getting it to fit on that little card. And then I'm going to just adhere it down with some glue stick. Then I'm going to take my Lyra graphite stick and I'm going to uh, do a sketchy line just to kind of edge and define the card. And I will pick up my water pen or water brush I mean. I'm using the Tim Holtz water brush and just a little bit of water in there and I'm going to just kind of blend out or smudge the graphite. This is a 6B. It's a little harder than the normal one that I use, but this is the one that I had on hand, so I just kind of grabbed that one. They come in different hard hardness and you uh, will get a different smudge look from each of the different uh, hardness of the of the uh, graphite stick. So I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna move on to my second card. Oh, I pull out these stickers. They were, came in a happy mail from a friend and I'm gonna pull out the word autumn. And sorry, I did this kind of off. Oh, and then I realized, and <laughs> so I moved it back into camera. And I just put that at the top of the card. And now I'm just going to take the card and I'm going to slide it down into that pocket. Now there's plenty of room in there for more cards or pictures or whatever. But I'm just happy with doing the one. And again, I'm just sketching around the card. And I am taking the water brush and going around and kind of smudging it a little bit. And you, uh, I was pushing on my pen and uh, trying to get the water flowing. So I was doing it off the paper onto my craft mat. And then I found this leftover little piece on here of some Kind of looks like some kind of golden flower or something. So I just kind of tore around it. Uh, I like the colors for, thought it was kind of fallish. And I'm just taking my glue stick and putting that on the card also. And I'm going back to the stickers and I'm, I was going to pull one of the stickers off, I believe Monday, and I just could not get the sticker to come off. And then when I noticed it actually came off in two parts, so there was some kind of glitch in the sticker cutting of that little sticker. And yeah, so I opted for something else. So I pulled from the other one and then it was pretty funny because I pulled a word off the other one and it actually tore. So you see me here just kind of fixing the edge a little bit and adhering it down and tucking it in. And that's it. 
Thank you for joining me in this crafting session of how to make a waterfall pocket flip for your traveler's notebook or any other project you have. Please uh, go down and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. And if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.